Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to the first impressions on the new version of Eroica version 1.1.5 A redesigned RPG mobile gacha game that is preparing for its global launch real soon That's it, now let's see what sort of gameplay features and battle mechanics this game has to offer to us By the way guys, the download link to this game is right down in the description of this video Alright, check it out to download its APK file and start playing this game in your Android device Right now I'm in the map right over here just like in Epic 7. Yes, this game is really really like Epic 7. If you guys are already used to playing Epic 7, you guys will have no problem at all in understanding this game out here. And I was told that uh, this game has actually came up with a lot of new features. So let's see what those new features really are. And you can see that like in my team, I've got a total of four characters out here. Wow, that was an amazing AoE damage. Okay, uh, this is dangerous. Okay, so we are gonna skip that cutscene out here. And well, uh, let's use this uh, ultimate skill out here. I think that's a healing skill. Okay, there we go. I think this is pretty uh, new. <laughs> this did not happen last time in Eroica. Okay, that is great, and I've got this character out here, and I can use this second skill out here for the AoE damage against the enemies. Let's see how much damage you can deal. Oh, just one damage. Okay, all right. <laughs> I thought it was an AoE damage. Okay, so you can actually deal some crazy damage to enemies out there with an amazing uh, animation out here, guys. Look at that. Definitely like Epic 7, don't you guys think so? Well, you guys be the judge, like, uh, which animation is better? Is it gonna be the Eroica animation or is it gonna be the Epic 7 animation? Alright, that's it. Let's keep moving on. Last time in Eroica, uh, it was like the soft launch, right? In the first place. And the second thing was that there were a lot of bugs that the developers really tried hard to cope up with. And the next thing is that, like, um, the story was pretty limited back then. And now the uh, devs have promised to provide us with even more contents, more features, and many much more like stuffs out there in the game. Let's check them out one by one. So right away guys, all I'm trying to do is to beat up this monster, this harpy out here real real fast. Okay, let's do it. That's an ultimate skill of my character right over here and she looks pretty amazing. Okay, wow look at that amazing animation. Ooh, <laughs> scary. <laughs> I like it, I like it, alright. Definitely it has actually improved a bit. Okay, so let's keep moving on forward. Alright, here we go. Just like in Epic 7, keep moving to the right direction in order to keep on moving forward. <laughs> Cliche. Okay, so here we go guys. Uh, in this game, we really cannot skip the cutscene. We really have to go through the uh, cutscene out here, like through all of them, okay? All we can do is fast forward the cutscene, that's it. Uh, well, we just cannot skip it whatsoever. Anyways, that's gonna be our train. That's gonna take us from one uh, region to another region and so on and on guys. That's it. Okay, so well, let's say Kipikuri. All right. <laughs> Kipikuri, right? Yeah, I, I remember her. Remember her. She's a really good DPS unit. Okay, let's see like if there are any other new characters that has been just recently added. Okay, this really does remind me of Epic 7. This one as well right over here. Okay, EXP. That's what our characters just got after beating the ass of the enemies out there in the battlefield, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so far so good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's keep moving on, guys. Okay, so what we can do is like, okay, let's keep on speaking, uh, you know, like fast forwarding this cutscene out here. I think I can pretty much get the gist of this uh, game right over here, or let's say this story after watching this uh, like cutscenes out here. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Okay, keep on moving on, keep on moving on, and there we go, guys. This is gonna be our ship. Uh, and uh, well, we can actually check out like various, you know, like contents of this game from here. Okay, wow, look at that. So well, uh, depending upon like where you are going to be placing your characters, they are gonna be getting different types of buffs out here. Like let's say if a character is being placed right up here. Our character is gonna receive defense plus eight percent boost, seven percent of attack speed boost on the top, eight percent attack boost, attack boost for the rear, and fifteen percent of crit boost for the bottom. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That's it. Looks pretty good. All right. Okay, let's go the team out here. Let's see. What else can we do out here? That's an all. Okay. Uh, auto equip. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I think uh, this game actually do not support Google Play right now. Even though there is an option in order to create a new account. Uh, so you might actually want to create a new account in this game by using your Facebook ID. Alright, so please do remember that. 
uh, or you might actually get a little bit frustrated for not being able to come up with a really good account in the first place. Okay, so yeah, there we go. A short break, that is. And we are going to go back into the adventure. Let's see what we can do out here. You quickly go do something. <laughs> Some really good manga out there, huh? Okay, so well, let's go here. And uh, wow, okay. Uh, let's uh, go inside. Man, uh, it's really, really like Epic 7. <laughs> And on top of that one, Exosurus is also really trying to walk on the same path of Epic 7. And uh, I'm pretty much waiting for that one out there. Anyways, uh, for now, <laughs> Epic 7 2.0 right over here. Okay, a short break. Alright, so well, there we go. Um, these are the missions. Uh, we gotta, like, you know, complete it in order to gain the uh, indicated rewards. Uh, that can be really great help in my account progression, right? So well, there we go. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. I really love this character right over here. I think her name is Luna, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> actually, did manage to get her last time, but this time I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get her. The summon banners are pretty good in this game, uh, actually. You are really supposed to summon in the, um, you know, like the 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 individual summon banner of a particular unit, so that like you have higher chance to get their uh, dupes in order to uh, transcend them real real fast. Because transcending, guys, it's really really essential in this game, as far as I know, uh, from the experience that I actually managed to get from the last uh, soft launch version of Eroica. There we go, I say it's thousand and so on and on. Okay, I would really love to you know, like fast forward it right now. I'm really much more interested in like other gaming features out here. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, say, okay, whatever that is. Okay, so there was a little bit of misunderstanding, I guess. All right, the enemies are actually on our back. And I, I think we gotta defeat them, I guess. Okay, there we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Those are some creepy spiders. All right. The quest already complete? <laughs> hey, the battle was yet to start. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now we can do it. All right, all right, all right. So, well, now it's time to battle. Okay. Even though the enemy was on my left side, but hey, yeah, the battle screen actually goes like this. And the enemies do appear, four of them. I would really love to have an uh, AoE skill. That would be really good. The uh, enemies actually look pretty insane. Uh, I'm like, they are pretty powerful, guys. And it's time to use the healing spell. So definitely is a new character, I believe. Wow, that's a free healer. Last time, I think we did not have a really good healer, right? This time, we are actually being given an amazing healer. I think uh, the devs really did realize that one. If you use Arkham Cannon in a battle, you can deal great damage to the enemy. Using hero skills, we build up the Arkham Cannon gaze. Oh my god, it's just like Epic 7. Ah -ha, I missed that Arky. Okay, so here we go, guys. That's it. Oh my god, now this is definitely an amazing new animation, uh, new feature, a new content that has been added in the game. Oh my god, oh, that's an amazing AoE skill. All right. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, this is great. This is great. I'm actually getting a lot of uh, nostalgic feeling of uh, Epic 7. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Anyways, uh, looking in the battle screen, you can already see that on the left hand side of the screen, there is the combat readiness panel. Like, uh, who is the character that's gonna go next, right? So, for now, it's gonna be definitely Luna. And uh, secondly, it's gonna be the other characters out here. Look at that. Uh, these are the characters, right? Who are actually gonna go next. And you can actually even check out their uh, details out here in this screen, like what's gonna happen next what could be the possible case scenario and so on and on so that you can have a lot more uh, control over the battlefield coming up with really good strategies in order to control the situation as much as you can okay that's an amazing area skill I believe and it's definitely going to kill all of them oh not all of them just one all oh, right I thought it was an AoE skill oh it's just a single target okay so well I think I really don't have to uh, heal my allies this time so I would actually go with, uh, you know, like this, 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 this attack. Okay, Luna. Okay, how about this? Uh, I, I think we can actually check out, check this one out. Deal 180% of attack to an enemy. Okay, so yeah, that's it. How about this? Deals 110% of attack to an enemy and grants crit chance of itself. Okay, uh, okay, how about this? Let's use the uh, second active skill. Okay, that's great. That's amazing million stab out there from the Devil May Cry series. I like that, I like that. Okay, uh, this is my turn, and uh, well, uh, well, uh, using the skills will actually consume the mana uh, on the top. You can see that. I've got a total of 5 mana right over here, and if I'm actually going to be using this skill out here, uh, well, it's going to consume, like, um, the indicated number of mana, right? Last time, I think the skills did go to cooldown after using them, right? But how about this time? Will it go to the cooldown? 
like um, like you know like there's so many games out there like as long as you have enough mana you can just keep on spamming your skills yes oh my god seems like in this game ladies and gentlemen right now there is no skill cooldown system all right meaning like as long as you have mana you can keep on uh, spamming your skill over and over and over again I would say that is pretty great that is pretty great no cooldown whatsoever so well that is a little bit unique than compared to uh, epic 7 not a co total copy paste okay I like it I like it I like it so well that's a uh, dragon and I think we need to bring it down real fast okay so well come on come on hmm. okay wow there was there was a little bit of really good uh, cutscene animation out there uh, there's the quest complete reward and well guess what guys uh, right away after this we are gonna be fighting against the dragon I believe okay Hoover village vicinity okay so let's go there and uh, let's go and let's battle yet again <laughs> we are still in the tutorial phase okay okay Let's keep playing this tutorial out here. Look at that. Everything is actually working out pretty good. Oh, we have got auto, auto feature right now. That's great. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, and look at this. Oh, auto feature. Oh, auto battle feature is locked right now. It will be unlocked at this stage zero. That's for. Okay, so pretty soon, guys. Anyways, uh, everything is looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna be using this ultimate skill out here. Skip. Oh, the skip button is not working right now. That is not good, that's not good, that's not good. Okay, so wow, that's like, wow, four mana skill. Hey, that's pretty expensive for a not really that good skill. Okay, defense up for the uh, tank character. Yes, our main protagonist is actually a tank. <laughs> oh man, I thought uh, you know, like it would be a bruiser, but oh well, that's a tank unit. Anyways, uh, let's keep moving on ahead. And uh, auto, auto, come on, come on. We are on the auto mode, right? Oh well, oh shit, shit, shit. Oh. Like, how about this? Okay, there we go. That's the uh, treasure box. <laughs> I really don't want to miss out on any kind of treasure out there in any game because uh, it really does make a lot of difference, especially when you are a beginner, right? Any kind of like small, uh, small help would actually take you a long way into the game. Okay, there we go. That's pretty amazing. Single target nuke damage. Uh, so far, it seems like we really don't have any uh, <laughs> AOE damage dealer. Okay, let's keep hitting it. That's it. Whoa, that's pretty good uh, animation. And wow, he can actually stun the enemy as well with his just basic skill. That is pretty good. Okay, pretty amazing character. Because like stun in this kind of games is pretty awesome. Oh my god, that is totally Epic 7. Don't you guys think so? <laughs> Though I think Epic 7 still has better graphics. Maybe due to the Yuna engine, right? But in here, it's not really that bad either. But I, I would say Epic 7 is a lot better in graphics than compared to this one actually. So well, I think our character has kind of awakened. All right, he's oh, like is he like trying to register this dragon into his Pokédex? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's use this ultimate skill, like the Shield Hero. Oh yeah. Oh my God, look at that man! It really does remind me of the Shield Hero. <laughs> All right, bring it on, you freaking dragon, Dragonard. That's his name. Okay. Uh, that was pretty substantial damage to our barrier actually uh, okay so what can I do I think I can actually decrease its uh, attack for now yeah that's it that's it that's it attack down that's pretty awesome all right now what we can do is obviously I have to come up with some really special damage against it so that I can bring it down real fast okay boom there we go 502 critical damage and uh, this attack right over here boom that's it that's pretty awesome I like it. Uh, just go with the basic skill out here. Every attack we do, I think it actually replenishes like one mana. All right. Okay. Wow. That's uh, second turn for the dragon in a row. Okay. It's time for the new damage. There we go. The mana skill actually is pretty increasing right now. Uh, I think I am pretty much remembering right now. Yeah. If you are going to use this skill over and over again, then well, the mana is actually going to increase. But if you are going to wait for a while. And well, guess what, guys? You can actually use the skill without even, like, using the mana. <laughs> okay, so the skill cooldown is kind of compensated with the mana consumption, okay? If you are actually going to uh, wait for your skill to fully cool down, then your skill will require no mana at all. But if you really want to use the skill right away, you will have to use the mana in order to come up with the, um, you know, like, series of the same skills yet again and again. That's it guys, so right now I don't have any mana, so I was not really able to cope up with, or let's say to follow up with the another really good skill out there. Anyways, that's it, so basic skill out here, that would be good. And uh, I think it's time to come up with a really good shield as well, boom, that's it. 
Let's skip this one. So for now, skip is just, you know, like fast forwarding the animation. That's it. So yeah, it's kind of like defeating the purpose right now. Okay, boom, there we go. Come on, come on, dragon, you gotta die this time. All right, so I think it's time to heal a little bit. Yes, there we go. A free healer is definitely an amazing stuff for a beginner. All right, really good sustenance out here, guys. And I think it's time for the Dragonaut to actually go down. Come on, Dragonaut. Yes, there we go. The dragon is out. And the <laughs> the droppings, I think it's, it's pretty good out there. Okay, so, well, let's 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 do it. Uh, the uh, dragon. Oh, my God. What happened to the dragon? It got stabbed from the sky. <laughs> All right, maybe that was a heavenly strike. Okay, well, my uh, main protagonist, like, he's exhausted. And he actually kind of fell apart. Okay, so, well, there we go. Lots of uh, experience points out here. Clear rewards. Wow, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, I think it's time to provide some really good equipments to my allies so that they can perform a lot better. Oh, my God, that was an amazing scene right away. Wow, I mean, like to see those kind of scene right away after opening the eyes <laughs> well, that's pretty soothing all right uh let's keep moving on all right oh man uh, i think most of the players will not really like this feature not being able to skip the cutscene. like you can fast forward it but oh well you have to watch everything of them okay now it's time to summon let's see like how the summon feature is actually gonna work last time i checked out the summon rate was pretty awesome in erica how about now all right, look at the summoning animation out here, guys. And I think the first ever character it should be a really good character. Oh, it's just one star. Mewtwo. All right. I think she's a healer, right? If I'm not wrong. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. That's a hero passport. If you summon the hero you already own, the duplicate hero will be exchanged to the hero passport. And you can use the passport to get the shards of the other characters as well, I guess. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there we go. That's it. Let's auto it, auto it, auto it. Yeah, there we go. We are still in the uh, tutorial phase. Man. All right, all right, all right. Uh, selective summons. I think that's for the beginners, right? I think we can do it up to a total of 30 times. Select it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, that's an amazing summoning animation. All right, all right. So I think uh, at least we are going to get a guaranteed SSR character. Yeah, there we go. There's a rainbow ticket out there. Boom, there we go. So you were gusty enough to call me. And uh, who is it? Uh, this character seems pretty good, I, if I'm not wrong. Uh, if I remember right. So you can actually decrease the defense of the opponents. Real good. So are I with their second active skill. Come on, can't I even look into her skills right now? Okay, what's that? Oh my god, look at that. That's a card, right? That's a card, that's a card. Yeah, artifact. Like, you know, it's like an artifact card. Drunken Champions is an amazing character as well. This is pretty good. Uh, okay, all right. I almost forgot to tell you about the key function. Uh, during the selective summons, we can... Oh, your favorite. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, we can actually come up later for this. Uh, the summoning results will be obtained if confirmed. Please come back later and confirm it. Okay, that's a pretty good feature. <laughs> I would love to use it a little bit later because first of all, I need to really analyze my characters uh, so that I can actually focus on like which character would be the best one for me to start this game, right? Because I think there are better DPS dealers out there in the game. Okay. Welcome new adventurers and these are the gifts that we are going to be receiving right now. Okay. Uh, loading it is okay so we have got like the screen out here okay it kind of really reminds me of uh, exos heroes <laughs> looking at this face right over here guys okay 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 uh well let's go into the mailbox and wow we have got summon tickets out here we have got stamina and we have got other summon tickets as well that is great that is great so what we are gonna do is we are gonna do even more summons <gasps> look at this amazing hot babe character on censored Okay, so that is great. Uh, we can actually look into the rates out here, I guess. Uh, one three-star hero rarity and a number of heroes. Uh, there are a total of six uh, three-star heroes. And the summer... Oh my god! 16.6%! Hey! Am I dreaming or what? <laughs> Lol... Uh. 16.6%! Like, hey... Like, <laughs> I, I, I may be looking at the different banner out here. Maybe this one, this one, this one would actually... Uh, okay, pick up banner. 
Let's check this one out, okay? So, uh, well, uh, where is the uh, summer rate? Yeah, summer rate is right up here. Okay, so three star pickup hero, uh, the drop rate will be 1.5%, and the three star hero will be 1.5% chance for drop rate, right? So that means a total of 3% chance for drop rate for a three star hero. That's like an SSR character in this game, which I would say is pretty good. Okay, and uh, three star pickup hero, that's the Orsalaha. And Orsalaha is definitely, definitely an amazing character in this game, being able to deal some crazy damage, and definitely you are supposed to get her right away. In last account, I was actually able to get Ursula to her maximum level. I, oh, I actually managed to get all needed dupes. Let's see what's gonna happen this time. Ursula is definitely the best character in the game right now, I would say. Eyes closed. Uh, next is definitely going to be Wraith. Okay, Wraith also can deal some crazy damage, especially to a single target unit. And I think she can also deal AoE damage as well. Anyways, her attack stats, super high, guys. And next is gonna be Melavi. Uh, pretty good AoE damage. Uh, though she actually requires pretty high build. And that's it. And uh, Soare is pretty good as well. Well, I think Soare can actually um, decrease the defense of all the characters out there in the enemy team. So yeah, there we go guys. And three, two star, one star hero. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, now it's time for... Oh, paid summon. No, 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 no. no. It's not time for the paid summon. Uh, ten times summon. Not enough pellets. What? Like, okay, maximum. Uh, yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, turn into rainbow, alright, bring it on, Ur oh my god, those are three, oh, three tickets, hee <laughs> hee, you were looking for you, where, okay, yeah, there we go guys, that's Ursula Ha, with that amazing, amazing, amazing asset, <laughs> All right, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. An amazing start to my fresh new account. How about that? Ursula Ha. Light unit, shadow faction, right? Uh, Mazistia of light. She can deal some crazy AoE damage. Uh, she has like single target nuke, and she can also deal AoE damage as well. So she's a pretty crazy character indeed. Uh, that's gonna be Retinia. Okay, uh, next one right up here. That's gonna be Sumi, a one star character. Uh, how about the next one? That's a one star character. One, once again, that's Marion. Uh, she's a healer, right? And we definitely require her for really good healing out there. Next is gonna be Len. Okay, there we go. Uh, next character right here, that's Chloe. All right, all right, all right. Come on, bring me the golden ticket out here. And that's Florence. Oh, Florence, oh, she's, she's an amazing support unit, right? If I'm not wrong, Florence is an amazing character. I am pretty happy with that. Hey, I thought there were a lot. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this, the dupes! Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, this is getting crazy good. Right off the bat, oh my god. All right, all right, all right. This is great, this is great, this is great. Ah, uh, man, I... Uh, <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is awesome. Okay, present. Uh, one free summon out here. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. What's what's gonna bring? Come on, come on, come on. Turn your light. Oh, it's uh, it's 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 just a um, like one star character, I guess. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, can summon again. Okay, so uh, well, let's see what we can do out here. Let's go into the hero. And uh, well, it's time to focus on my Ursula. Where are you? Oh my god, this baby's out here. Okay, okay, okay. So what we can do right now is ascend. Okay, your essence is unlocked after you clear the quest. Other depths. Oh yeah, for that ascend. Yeah, I like, you know, whatever that is. Okay, let's go for the auto equip right now. And this one right over here. Okay, I don't have got that one. Uh, level up this character, I guess. Okay, uh, max out, max out. Level up, boom, that's it. That's, that's awesome. Okay, that's great. I like that. And uh, she's pretty good right now. And uh, let me show you guys like what she can really do. Oh, before that one, let me show you guys like what other functions that you can pretty much do. You know, like stuff right over here. Okay, so these are the like, you know, skill stuff. Uh, we can level it up so that they can be much better out there. You know, the Epic 7 stuff, right? And uh, we don't have enough material. <laughs> pretty, uh, you know, like totally supposed to happen, right? Yeah totally predictable guys let's click on this uh, let's get even more rewards out here pretty good pretty good handsome rewards all right all right I like that uh, trophies but in the mailbox I don't think we have actually managed to get some really good stuff out here oh we actually did so get some like uh, you know like summon tickets right and I think we have got even more summon tickets if I'm not wrong if I'm not wrong let's go for the present yes this one yeah yeah we have got it okay let's go for it guys let's go for it come on give me a yet another SSR yes that's what I was looking for oh no 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 that's not that's not that's not that's not a three star character all right, uh, pretty sad guys. I'm pretty sad. Okay, so I can skip it right now. I think the skip feature is not working. Emerald. Okay, that's Stella. Stella is an amazing healer. 
as far as I know. Okay, so yeah, there we go. And uh, well, um, uh, the team. Yes, let's let's form our team. Definitely, there is like like uh, I think I would actually go with the attack boost for my um, Ursula Ha and uh, Florence. I think I can actually place her right over here. And uh, healer, I think she can actually do it. Though she's actually one star, I can actually put this two star character right over here for better healing, I guess. And uh, the tank, the tank. I think the normal tank would suffice, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I think Florence is pretty great as well. Okay, let's check out her skills out here. Deals 90% attack. Okay, deals 1 to 10% attack to and decelerates the enemies by 10%. Attack speed to. Okay, uh, grants attack speed down to the enemies hit with 75% chance for one turn. See, it doesn't look really that good though right now. Why? I think there's a lot of changes. Florence was really good last time. This time, she doesn't actually look really that amazing though. Hey, what happened to her? What happened to her, man? She was, she was really fine chick last time. My God. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back. Let's get back. And uh, let's see what what else can we do out here. So, well, it's time tour. I think that's going to be the battle pass. Oh, no, 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 not the battle pass. Uh, it's just a beginner's guide stuff. Uh, just do it in order to claim some really good rewards out here. Azote devs, yes, try to clear it. And we are going to be getting a lot of stuff. We have got battle pass event out here as well. And I think as far as I know, in this game, you can purchase the battle pass with the crystals. Yes, you heard me right. Okay, yeah, just 300 of them. And you can unlock it. And that is a really good feature out here in this game. Totally a lot of to win feature out here so that is awesome isn't it right and uh, you can actually check out the shop and well you can check out like I think this is uh, about like um, $25 no 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 $30 $30 yeah it's, it's about $30 oh my god that's that's pretty expensive for me <laughs> daily free okay free rewards I would always take them and these are the stuff right over here start a pack oh that's great for like $1 you are getting a lot of stuff out there uh, platinum we have got custom pack out here double pellet. Yeah, that's it. Look at these rates out here guys All are in Philippine pesos. Okay, so yeah, those are it and I think one dollar equals to like about like uh, 45 pesos or 50 pesos somewhere between 45 and 50 pesos That's it guys and uh, well, let's collect it right now. Boom. That's that, that that's it uh, Let's go back and uh, Well survey event. We have got hero growth event out here as well. Let's check them out it's always a great idea to keep on clearing up the events so that we can actually do even more stuff, right? And get more stuff in the game and check them out one by one. Yeah, look at this. Uh, and now I think it's time to check out my Ursula Ha in the battlefield. How about that? <laughs> How about that, right? Yes, boom. Uh, all right, all right. Let's check it out. Battle. Okay, I think we are inside a um, dungeon, I guess. Okay, let's check it out. Mm-hmm. All right, so some of the mechanics out there in the uh, inside inside the you know like this map. Okay, let's auto it. Can we auto it? No, the auto feature is not really uh, supported out here. So we got some gold. Okay, that's good. It's time to defeat them. Okay, now it's time for Orslaha to actually do some really good damage. Boom! There we go. That's what I really love about Orslaha. Did you see that? An amazing AO damage to clear them up right away. Yes, yes, yes. That's it, guys. And I think I should actually be picking up. Um, I forget her name. Wraith. Yes, Wraith. Wraith next time. Okay, so these are the stars that you are supposed to get in the uh, dungeon so that you can actually get a three star victory. Okay, so there we go. Come on. That's it. That was Florence. How about that? Uh huh. I gotta really improve the attack speed of uh, Orslaha. Okay, that, there we go. A, a good healer, but also a really good <laughs> striker as well. Alright, that's. Uh, a stun attack, I like that. And that's an AoE damage. Okay, boom, that's it. That's it. Pretty easy battle, guys. That's pretty easy battle. And, uh, oh, it's time to check out the chest. Ah, the treasure chest, guys. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I, I really don't care about that. Okay, so there we go. Quest complete already? All right. So, anyways, guys, this is it for today. What do you guys think about this game? Let me know in the comment section below. There definitely is like like new features out here. Uh, definitely quite nostalgic also at the same time because like a lot of features that are pretty much similar to Epic Seven. If you guys have already played Epic Seven, you guys will have no problem at all in understanding this game, and definitely you will feel a lot of like you know nostalgic vibes out there. 
uh, you know, like the statue out here, guys, as well. <laughs> Man, <laughs> right? Anyways, that's it. This is it for today. See you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's see, like, when the global version, or let's say the global launch of this game is gonna come out. Uh, as, I, as, as far as I know, it's gonna come out real soon. That's what I've heard. I don't know the exact date, though. Alright, so, yeah, anyways, the download link to this game, the APK file, is down in the description of this video. Check it out right over there, and you can actually start playing this game in your Android devices like me. See you guys next video.